Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Um, right, yes, as well as obviously painting those uh, nibs, I'm actually uh, doing some more preparing as well in the background because um, once those are done, I don't want to have to worry about preparing the, the next batches as such. So I've been working on these um, mycetic spores, these drop pods, these pieces of terrain, whatever they're going to end up being. Um, I've got eight of these all together and if you are wondering what they are, you probably do know, but just in case you don't, these are uh, plastic toys from a company called uh, Mega Block. They don't make these anymore, um, but basically they're, they're plasma hatches. Uh, they used to come open, you get a toy inside, and um, it was a f these are fantastic stand-ins as, as mycetic spores. Now, obviously we don't have mycetic spores anymore, so I'm going to end up using these as uh, pieces of terrain probably. Uh, but I've got eight. Um, I got mine off of Amazon um, when the NID Codex came out, and uh, these cost me £3 each which um, wasn't too bad. By the end of their life, I noticed that these were going for like £9 each, amazingly. Um, of course, now they're discontinued. Um, but of course, no one no one wants them because uh, drop pods aren't in the Nid Codex anymore. But anyway, so I've been working on these. So um, these four which I have left, um, compared to the four that I painted, needed a lot more work. Uh, than the other four because they didn't actually fit very well so that's why I left them really uh, but what I did I washed them um, in hot soapy water I super glued them together I've then filled in the holes there's two holes here underneath and two holes at the top um, and then this area here where the join wasn't very good um, I've just green stuffed in to give me a nice join now that one wasn't too bad this was the worst one this had a massive hole uh, so I did uh, to do two layers of green stuff, I basically just filled that hole in and then sort of put in some detail. Um, yeah, it's not too bad, it's, it looks pretty good. Once that's painted up as well, it should, should be alright. Um, and that's it, and then I did try filing down the mould lines. It's got quite a heavy mould line going around this area, which is quite difficult to get off. I tried, tried my best, but to be fair with my paint scheme, once that's painted up, you won't actually see that. So, um, it's all good, it's all good. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I prepared those. Um, I'm going to keep preparing the minis um, as I'm painting because, um, as I said, it's it's nice to not have to, to have another massive batch of preparing them. I mean, it took me three days for, to prepare the first batch, so I thought if I can do them, you know, one unit at a time, in between painting, um, and then I'll be ready for the the next section without having to worry too much. Okay, so that's it for now. I'm going to get uh, cracking on with that painting. Thanks for watching.